in response to the threat of economic downturn being faced by the country as a result of the coronavirus pandemic, as well as crash in the crude oil price in the international market. The Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, announced this while briefing journalists after the council's meeting, presided over by President Mohamed Buhari. State House correspondent Adam Sambo has the details. 1.2 trillion naira of the amount is to be sourced as structured low-cost loan from the Central Bank of Nigeria and other development finance institutions in the country. 344 billion naira will be sourced from bilateral and external sources, while 500 billion naira is a stimulus package already provided for in the amended 2020 Appropriation Act. The memo on the economic sustainability package derived from the report of the Economic Sustainability Committee chaired by Vice President Yemi Oshibanju was submitted to Council by Finance Minister on behalf of President Muhammadu Buhari. This whole plan is to enable us to respond to the triple problem of low exchange rate, huge unemployment as well as negative growth which is facing us now. And the interventions that are outlined in the, in the plan was to ensure that we prevent businesses from collapsing and also to infuse liquidity within the Nigerian economy. It's also to create jobs using labor-intensive methods such as agriculture, facility management, housing, construction, direct labor interventions that will create a lot of jobs very, very quickly. We also have proposed and in the plan uh, to undertake growth-enhancing jobs using creative infrastructure investments in roads, bridges, solar power, communications technology, and, se and several others. Promoted in the plan also include manufacturing and local production at all levels, advocating the use of locally sourced materials in all the public works to be undertaken towards enhancing self-sufficiency. So when we are going to create roads, for example, we expect the Minister of Agriculture and uh, Minister Fashala not to have to buy bitumen, but consider the use of limestone and cement, which are locally available and produced here. That way we conserve local resources. We also are able to now ignite the other sectors within the economy as we, we buy inputs in terms of aggregate zones and, and such like for for road construction. The same thing for housing construction as well. The design is to have 300,000 houses built using standard designs that will be done by the Ministry of uh, Works and Housing, but using strictly low, ma low cost materials and giving the housing units development to small, small architectural firms, uh, engineering firms, small young people that have membership of like five or ten, and then they'll be given a certain number of houses to build. The plan, she said, also made provision for very rigorous and strict implementation. And this is important because this plan is a 12-month plan. It is a plan that is meant to pull our economy from uh, sliding into a deep recession. But it is also a plan that will be an anchor to the successor ERGP that we have already started working, working on. And we want to make sure that it's implemented quickly. And to that effect, Federal Executive Council has agreed that the procurement processes should become relaxed in the manner that we are adopting the faster mode that is allowed by the Pro uh, Procurement Act, which is selective tendering, as opposed to using the whole longer process of procurement. The minister explained that the federal government is indeed ready to go as funding is available. From the State House, Adamu Sambu, NTA News.